Dr. Risa, the sexy sexologist, and it is May Masturbation Month, and it is my favorite month to talk about learning how to self-love, self-touch, be self-confident, be you, be more genuine, be real, and yeah, I'm feeling good about that because I've already noticed such a difference in this year of working on this time to be this, and I want to share it with you. But um, usually when I got, get on here, sometimes I have a topic and sometimes I'm like, no, I feel it, I wanna talk. And there's something I wanna talk about. So I've been in Mexico for um, a little over a year and I have loved it and I decided to go back to America this week. And I'm so ready. I'm really, really ready to see my family, my friends, get Romeo back there, just, just get on soil, my own soil, getting to know just like I'm gonna get my driver's license, I'm gonna go get the vaccine. That is a catch-22 about what I'm gonna talk about today on fear, 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 fear. I don't wanna say that weird word, it's like a bad word because every day we can be in fear, all day long we can be in fear and watching media and the commercials and the media, uh, yeah, the media, the advertising, it's all fake, it's all fair, it's all I want to be, and we're never in the place of now, and like today I was in now, I mean, there was moments where I'm like, I could get it in even deeper in this moment, but the world doesn't want us to be in the now, they want us to be what if, what happens, not living today, not living in nature. It's like we have to be online, we have to be a robot, and I am a victim of it. I am guilty of it. It's, it's, it breaks me down. I'm like, it's, our phone is our like uh, blanket, our childhood blanket or, or stuffed animal. And so my little stuffed animal, come here. This is my, this is my stuffed animal. Oh, he ran under the bed. He was like, I'm not getting picked up right now from you, mom. So, it's so funny, when I sit here, I feel like the lens is cutting my face off, so I hope it's not. So, fear, let me, let me not be all over the place, but what's happening with fear is, especially if you watch the news and CNN, and, and even if you say you don't watch the news, we're watching it online, we see it on Facebook, it's like, if we're on a phone, there's something coming at us. Kind of like back when I was a kid, when we're on a TV, I want bologna, I want Lunchables, I want mac and cheese, I want this. Because we saw it on commercials back before I was born, like in the 50s, 60s, with cigarettes. That was sexy in advertising. And so things change, and we don't know if they're telling us the truth. Yes, you can kind of tell, like, yes, cigarettes are bad. I smoke weed. How, how much is weed going to affect me in the future? Um, that's why I love edibles, and I can't wait to go back to San Francisco and get my edibles, because if I take too much and take too little or whatever, it doesn't balance me to where I want. So, um, fair. So, with the whole COVID thing, right after when it hit, I was in. I was petrified. I would wear a mask this big, I would wear a mask, I would wear, and I think a lot of people were because we didn't know if it was like The Walking Dead. We didn't know. And so we're like, we need Lysol, we need this. And it's like, I had like, I was, I was shaking like everyone else, kind of like the toilet people, paper thing. And I'm in Mexico on vacation. And then I'm like, what to do with my place in New York? So I had a lovely friend who f did a FaceTime with me a few days and we packed up my little apartment in New York City. This was last May. Last year at this time I was contemplating, do I go back to New York? Do I like fear? And like people are like, go back. You may get stuck there. I'm like, I'd rather get stuck here than get stuck in my little apartment during the cold, during the hot heat and not know what's happening. I have high anxiety. My surroundings really affect me. I bet your surroundings, if you're with family or church or temple or eating a dinner with people you just are, are crushing you and like yes I have hung out with people I still hang out with people who do that like family who I adore but we have to back up and be kind to ourselves first and so why I'm here about fear is 
I don't want to be in fear anymore. I want to work on myself and the more I get to love myself, the more we can be in less fear. Instead of saying, let's love our body and stop eating processed food and McDonald's and fast food, they wanted us to be home on the computer, on the phone, ordering Amazon on lovely TikTok. I can hold, do a whole YouTube on that. I love, love, love TikTok, but there's ups and downs. If someone takes your video and shares it and in a, in a bad way, that can ruin your, your mood, your anxiety for me. Like, so I'm like very f trying to figure out what I want to talk about more. I love talking about politics, not full on politician or politician, politic person, but since the last four years, you know, it's like affecting my business, affecting my life, affecting my friends and family's lives. People don't realize a sex worker is a worker. It is part of someone's job, my job. I've been in this industry over 20 years. I knew at 14, 13, I'm like, I want to be in this industry. And this was before internet. This is just me seeing in a magazine or thinking, this is how I want to make a living. I'm not worried about getting naked. I don't mind getting naked in photos. Um, it's my body and every day like I fluctuate with my body and my weight and what I look like and whatever but um, I'm trying to love inside and out and so this May I could talk about everything and I'm gonna go is masturbation and I'm gonna talk the MOT on my next video so today let's talk about and really figure out fear with the condoms and um, and mask I'm gonna talk about that on the next video though Thank you for enjoying this one. If you want to see more, go follow my other one.